Hi and welcome to the Dr. Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at acid fast bacilli. We're going to be talking about four main things. Firstly, what are acid fast bacilli? Secondly, why is the test used? Thirdly, how is the test carried out? And finally, how do you interpret the test? So first of all, what are acid fast bacilli? Well, these are rod-shaped bacteria that can be seen and counted under the microscope in a specially stained sample on a glass slide called an acid fast bacilli smear. The most common type of AFB are a type of bacteria called mycobacteria. So why is the test used? Well, the acid fast bacilli test is used to detect mycobacterium. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is the most common type of mycobacterium and is also the most infectious. Usually an AFB is done because the doctor suspects the patient has a disease called tuberculosis, which is a multi-system disease, but one which commonly affects the lungs. There are also other types of mycobacteria that have been identified to cause infections in humans, such as Mycobacteria avium intercellulare complex, also known as MAC, which can cause a lung infection in immunosuppressed patients. Now this infection isn't easily spread to other people, but it's important to detect and treat because it's usually quite resistant to antibiotics. So how is the test carried out? Well, since Mycobacterium TB and Mycobacterium avium are most frequently infecting the lungs, sputum is the most commonly tested sample. Usually three to five early morning samples are collected on consecutive days in individual sterile cups. If the individual is unable to produce sputum, then doctors can collect respiratory secretions and samples through a procedure known as a bronchoscopy. This is where a thin flexible tube is passed through the throat into the lungs whilst the patient is asleep. Since kids won't be able to produce a sputum sample often, then stomach washings and aspirates can be collected. This involves putting a little salt solution called saline into the stomach through a tube and sucking the fluid back up through the tube. If the patient is thought to have TB at other body sites, then other samples from different locations can be collected and tested. Something which is important to understand is that several smears from different samples should be checked for acid fast bacilli. And this is because the number of bacteria can vary on a day by day basis. So how do you interpret the test? Well, if acid fast bacilli are present on any of the smears, a mycobacterium infection is likely. Since mycobacterium tuberculosis is the most common cause of respiratory infections with mycobacteria, a provisional diagnosis of TB can be made, but you need to do other follow-up testing in order to positively identify the acid fast bacilli as either mycobacterium tuberculosis or another type of mycobacterium species. If you found this useful, I'd be very grateful if you could leave a comment in the comments box below. Remember to give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I hope you found this useful and informative and until next time, bye. Thank you.